Hey you guys, I'm Krigo and this is Warhammer Inquisitor 40k Martyr. Butchered the name there for a bit though, but you have seen it on my channel before. We replayed as the Crusade. But I had some uh you know questions about Warhammer. Couldn't find it on, on the internet, you know, one, two, three. So I went to an AI. And then somehow we started to theory craft about the classes in the game and came up with something nice and we will definitely uh show the potential once we have unlocked everything that uh, the ai and i spoke of and why the ai with the warhammer things right well think about it it's it's the year 40,000. technology worship techno uh adept priest and uh, all these and that though it's rather fitting isn't it so yeah you know and i played it before you know the tech uh adept and i told you guys there's some very unique stuff about it right you know what i wanted to show you guys too but i played it a little bit more for the lols and there's some different interactions what i really like it's more fitting to my personality and I know some of you guys, right? You know, we have been communicating uh, back and forth here and there. And I think you guys might like it too. But let's get started, right? So we are in Tech Adept. We are an Adept Dominus. We are a seasonal big boy. And we are the Data Flux Resourcer. Tech Adept uh, Inquisitors spend Data Flux points to create battle constructs, gun turrets, combat servitors, and robots. Data Flux is recharged with time at a fixed rate. By the way, the problem with this big boy class is, though, it's same as Psyker, um, is that there are certain abilities that are good for you. Big benefits. But there are certain ones that actually go out to kill you. Right? It has to do with the Warhammer lore. And then we are going for the Plasma Caliber 2. A perma capacitator powered rifle that rapid fires plasma blasts with a loud crack. Flying organism, flares, and machine circulated alike. Very cool. Uh, Kluligo? No, it's Kurigo, big boy. Yeah, there we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Would you like to skip the tutorial missions? No, because they are kind of interesting though. Because it gives a different perspective. And I was fascinated by it though, right? In comparison to the Crusade. Not that the Crusade is worse, absolutely not. Absolutely not though. But it gives a different view of the game, right? You know? This we can just skip because it's the same. But I do like that the interactions are so different. And I wanted to share it with you. This doesn't mean that we are going to do everything double. You know, uh, what we did with the uh, Crusader. We will not. We will only do double of a... Uh, we will skip what is double, but we only do the new things, like this mission. Voidship Control Unit 11 Kappa. I requested transport to the last known coordinates of my retinue. What is this place? Clarification. You have reached the closest accessible location to your biovassals. Target zone is under quarantine protocols. Deficient analysis on account of a previous Tyranid infestation. The entire world is under standard Imperial quarantine. But my Inquisitorial decree nullifies the order. Complementary data. This area is under Code Vermilion lockdown to vehicular access. Machine spirits are forbidden, and therefore unable to enter the marked zone. Curious. This must be a cult mechanicus ward. I will proceed on foot then. Explode me the coordinates. As you can see, by the way, uh, we are... That is not all legs. That is something that we do stand on. You can see our feet just slightly, right? In the tutorial, standing on something like a skateboard. But the thing though is, right, you know, I am very impressed with the game. The game has so much for anybody, right? You know, all the classes feel completely different. The interactions to everything just feels different. It's hella good. It's really, really good. Now, let's see. What is this one? The Necro Machine. Uh, what? Necro. Uh, what? Necro Mechanic Turret. Well, that's a word that I never read before, right? You know? Necro, uh, Necro Mechanic Turret. So, it probably uses corpse power or anything like that, but it boosters and everything. Now, let's see. Drop stationary turret that gives offensive, defensive, or healing benefits to the by allied unit. It deals 200% base damage as physical or impact uh, in a 4.5 radius, uh, knockback or knocking down, blah blah blah. Very cool, we have here the Psyloi Combustor, that are these boys, 
And then over here we got the uh, Siloe uh, Fifi Sector. Very cool. As you can see, that's a beautiful build what we have right now. And then this one does Siloe Fifi Sector Simmons 3. Okay, then we have more. That's very cool though. Morning. Hostile bioforms detected. Finally, I've been waiting to engage Tyranid organisms for a long time. Affirmation required. Are you sure you want to proceed without backup? Positive. All right, very cool, right? Area very cool. At a secondary route, they should slip into the mission locks. Ending. Proceed. I've observed unusual levels of Xenos activity. All Tyranid organisms are bound to the centuries of the respective life fleet. But the high fleet that attacked this subsector was annihilated centuries ago. This phenomenon requires additional research. Recorded. Do you require any functional subtext as digital marginalia? Confusion, terror, or elation. If that was a subtle jab at my unmodified behavioral patterns, you are risking a mechanical lobotomy. Comment retracted, Inquisitor. As you can see, though, we have someone else uh, in our party already. You know that is a little bit more humorous sometimes, but also fully mechanical. And well, not fully, but a lot of it is mechanical, right? You know, there's some. Uh, well, uh, computer talk back and forth, a little bit mocking, a little bit teasing, you know, he has to activate, you know, like empathy and such things. It's really cool, right? You are approaching the location of the last transmission. No life signs detected. Log me a new priority task. Obtaining a new retinue. I am manifesting envy. Your bio vassals must have already been rewarded with blessed oblivion. I see that there is so much work to do on your self-deprecation filters. <laughs> See what I mean though. It's like two best friends, right? But it feels already different. The start of the mission is different. With the Crusader, we actually do start... Oh, oh, oh there we go. Uh, we do actually start off in the uh, Mart here, right, you know? And right now, we just start off in some, uh, well, Sinos Infested Planet. Um, this was supposed to be the simple reconnaissance expedition. I wonder if the Inquisitor was aware where he has uh, was sending us. Cobalt is there, uh, is a dead world, but it is still harboring some kind of life. Although I only dare to use the word hesitantly with regard to these creatures. Their first attack was totally unexpected. We immediately lost half of the expedition members. We tried to set up a defense perimeter around the camp, but we were simply not prepared for these monsters. We cannot fight our way out of here. Still, we have a sacred duty and we continue our mission in the short period of calm. We, uh, we have found the entrance to the underground research sanctum. I refuse to enter without the Inquisition in charge, as it is clearly a sanctified cult mechanicus text shrine and a very ancient one. The coordinators are stored on this uh, slate. I have transmitted our emergency call to the Inquisitor. Now we wait and pray. Operator, I have discovered the remnants of my expedition. My retinue perished while located at the entrance to a high security research sanctum and I must hold the key to my investigation. The sacrifice of my team was a gift to the Emperor and will be respectfully loved. The quarantine records radically downplayed the immensity of the Xenos threat. Oh yeah. This mission would have warranted a larger expeditionary force. My retinue was only following a faint lead. It didn't qualify as a priority assignment. Could the sanctum you seek even be here? I need more data to answer the question. It's so cool, right? You know, like, you know, <laughs> where... <laughs> you know, it was for the ed uh, Emperor when or, or man did fall, you know? It is sad, though, but it is what it is, right, you know? It is the lore. The weapons are cool too, by the way, aren't they? But yeah, I hope you guys like it, man. I do enjoy it tremendously. Here we are. Beautiful chest. Alrighty then. I'm ready to enter the vault now. Recalibration and organic rejuvenation is advised before entering. A logical proposition. But you guys know that I do love lore so freakishly much, right, you know, and that I like to talk about these things here and there. So, I think you guys can understand why I go towards the adept, you know, uh, tech adept. The thing, though, is, is that, you know, with the Crusader, I was more like 
the action part of myself, like, yeah, in the name of the emperor, let's curse their souls, you know? But this is more understanding of the lore, of the focus of it, you know? I'm behind to what is going on, you know? And I really do enjoy that. Well, we are going with Logic first, then Mind Link, by the way, and then Bionics. But there we are, and yeah, let's just level all of this up. Wait, eight already? Feels a little bit like, uh, mm, we are enjoying whatever came from uh, the other builds, right, you know? Which I don't mind, absolutely not. Hmm, this is kind of weird. There are certain ones over here, right, you know, that we have not seen before. That the flux regenerate. Ah, that's because a different class, I suppose, huh? Hmm, construct offensive. We have defensive. What is that, though? Tra strain transfer. Hmm, construct abilities. I like it, I like it, I like it quite a bit, though. Uh, yeah. Where to start, actually? Alright, I did see uh, what this is all about though, right? You know, we have some different ones, like Catapron Vanguard, uh, here too. Then we have the Tarantula Flamers and everything. But I think we are going to start off with this big boy. After all, you know, we have to start off somewhere. I go for the... what do we call it? Mm, not sure. Uh, Cataprons, yes. We are going for these big boys. So, there you go. That's a beautiful already. Plus 20% uh, suppression damage bonus to Constructs. Loving it. Let's go on though, the fate of my retinue has been revealed. The expedition was ambushed by uh, Terranid's organisms. This is a regrettable turn of offense and the loss of my best agents must be considered a major setback. However, I found the entrance to the research sanctum, my ill-fated interrogator was right. This place used to be a secret laboratory under the patronage of Uther or, or Uther Tiberius. My exploration continues and the truth must be of uh, must come online it surely has to right let's go for it i seriously love the background here man you know it's like my my thumbnail really enjoying it the location seems mostly intact but first i must restore the power where is the generator Accessing the blueprints through the new sphere as we speak. Send me the coordinates. We only have to see Louise right now, though, but that's all right. Oh, oh. I mean, sure, let's go with this one then, right? You know, we got a little bit damaged there, but that's all right. We will be very tanky later on if we want to, though, but I want to go for a different style build. Data dissection of the archives has been unsuccessful. All records of the vault have been deleted. That only confirms my suspicion. It sparks records. A special lockdown on a world under adeptus and mechanical. The tenacity of these creatures is astonishing. According to the records, the adeptus and mechanicus cursed this world decades ago. And all they managed to do was to force them underground. To force them underground, huh? Well. You gotta be very careful though, I mean, you know, there's a lot going on here. And, uh, it's interesting that we also do face different enemies from the get-go, right? You know, that's what I really enjoyed too. It has to do with the lore, I suppose, right, you know? Leaving resources of such magnitude on a quarantine planet is uncommon for the Adeptus and Mechanicus. A logical observation. According to my data excavations, the Fabricator General of Forge World Thule requested permission for reclamation expeditions several times. The Inquisition denied the request repeatedly without any formal explanation. Interesting. Think about it, right? You know, like uh, the Lord, the Crusader, after all, is just going uh, after Nurgles and just wants to exterminate them, right? You know, Nurgles people, I mean. But... The tech priest, the tech adept, the, the psyker, the assassin, etc. They have other things, other other choices to make, other other worries, right, for the emperor, other goals to, to fulfill, like recovering technology, investigating what is going wrong, you know, like heresy against the uh, beautiful tech religion and all that stuff, right, you know? So yeah, we gotta be very careful. Oh, 
Well, big boys are at war before I even arrive. I mean, feels nice. You know, feels like we have an escort party. A little bit of a VIP treatment in other words, you know what I mean? But this is cool. I do like to see that we have so many uh, minions and everything. This is like the necromancer or the voodoo priest, right? You know, in Diablo. Uh, the witch doctor, I mean. Hoppa, there we go. Come on, big boys. There we are. Right over there. We don't want to be ambushed, you know. After all, we are a little bit of a glass cannon at times. All right, beautiful. Here we go, boys. Power has been restored. Now the entire facility is accessible. My next task is to find out how this sanctum was connected to the mysterious research of Uther Tiberius. Reminder. Tyranid lifeforms consume all biological material in order to reproduce. Indeed. This is why I need to locate the main data vault to find clues. Moral. Steel abides longer than flesh. Well, aren't you a fetish seeker of steel? He is correct, though. He is absolutely correct. Unless, unless, the flesh is alive. You know what I mean? Let's continue. It's kind of interesting that the turbines, you know, like that one is smoking, but not, not one of them is actually active. Papa, it's a little bit different i would say right you know than to play with my shotgun i just felt like real awesome right you know like like boom 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 and gone but this is a little bit like the shotgun one might say because you know we do have lots of machine gun pets right you know that's very cool too inquisitor permission to log an observation Proceed. the risk assessment for your current mission triggered a warning Elaborate. Reminder, you are currently engaging in a solitary operation against an extremely hostile biofall. Without any tangible data as to the existence of any tech relics created by Tiberius. My goal is to find proof here. Warning, your quest for sacred knowledge is based on assumptions. It is in danger of the your flesh body. No, 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 leave me be. <laughs> well, it's good that we have someone that cares for us, right, you know? Very good. Especially in uh, in a universe like that of uh, Warhammer. Very, very important. I was hoping that we could just, just arc with our laser gun just around it, right, you know? But no, it's not a heat seeker. It's not a conductor seeking for a different point, right, you know? Supplies, although we do not really need it. Let's just grab it anyways. Most referred Tiberius. The prototype is complete. My Cenorite brothers and sisters initiated the upload rites and uh, consecrated the remaining flesh casing for transportation. Subject has already manifested briefly in the control circuit. Uh, the code uh, psalms and theological patterns you provided to our sanctum led to a major breakthrough. Your servants will deliver the prototype to the martyr while we respectfully dispose of the remains of subject 112-42.3 and purge the relevant digital research tomes. Praise the Messiah. Clue has been archived. Any annotations? This sanctum belonged to the Xenorite sect of the Cult Mechanicus, who specialize in Xenos artifacts. The ancient logs indicate that they were under the patronage of Uther Tiberius. Observation. Direct connection with a Cult Mechanicus sect and an excommunicated Inquisitor might lead to political friction. Irrelevant. Knowledge is the true manifestation of divinity, especially for the Inquisitor. Indeed. Technology is the true manifestation of divinity, boys. Now you know it. Now you know why some scientists love to play as God, right? You know? It is certain magic, isn't it, science? It absolutely is, though. Think about it. You can listen to my voice. You can see what I record. 
You could even have seen me right now if our GPU was a little bit stronger for the AI uh, removed backgrounds on my webcam. You know? I mean, true of Wi-Fi. That's true of the air, my my lord, right? That is absolutely true of the air. How, how crazy is that? Think about it for a second, right? That's pure magic. Oh my. One of the skills that uh, a tech adept can do. Accessing the sacred mechanism now. Here we go. The sacred mechanism, my boys. Warning. Empyrean senses detect a huge surge in the psychic energies. Caution advised. It was a late warning, operator. The sources in Zoan, a monstrosity created to harness and manipulate the unholy powers of the war, and a belt of a dangerous opponent. Okay, very cool, man. Another one! Yeah, another boss there. Okay, I did not expect another boss here. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> we have to be careful for certain um, mechanisms, right, you know? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, look at that. I mean, you know, almost all of my turrets are gone. Very interesting. I do like it, man. I do like it. I, uh, I'm enjoying it so much, though. Oppa, purity seal, eh? Oh my, electric, uh, electrode shielding. Ah, well, that is very cool, though. We can have a special shield if we equip this. I will show you. Look at that. <laughs> like the Pope, huh? Um, but that means that we do not have some extra robotics helping us out, right? Crits 10 meter aura with 150 of damage delf is gained as HP uh, by the constructs. Last 20 seconds. Very cool stuff, though. But we want to have more, more summons, I suppose. Yeah, we gotta be careful, by the way, with the loot now that I realize it, right? Because, you know, certain ones take away the loot uh, of, I mean, you know, the summons. And I want them to be as numerous as possible. And as strong as possible, of course. Brothers and sisters, prepare for blessed deactivation. Sanctum Ventress 4 has survived various challenging time frames. I implore you to revert to entries uh, 985A to 1236T in your personal memory modules, detailing more trials after the excommunication of Uther Tiberius. But we always continue to our work, blessed by the machine god, under the, protect, uh, under the protection of the forge world fool. But our fox pleas for assistance to fool has been remained of us. Uh, what? Tool have remained unanswered. The sanctum has evidently been reclassified as a wasteful facility, and we have been left to our own devices to face the new Terranid invasion on Cobalt. Uh, to preserve our sacred research, I will close down the data vault and initiate the area wards for all constructs possessing machine spirits. Execute Psalm 54.4, initiate combat protocols, die fighting for sacred knowledge. Very cool. Operator, I'm sending you a pit grab of a very unique apparatus. Receive. Commencing analysis. This must be connected to the Tiberius research. Analysis failed. There is no match in the schematics library. The core concept definitely suggests a uniquely modified neural upload mechanism. Remarkable. An incoming Vox message. How? No logical explanation. The Sanctum has been defunct for centuries. It was a rhetorical question, Operator. <laughs> <laughs> Loving it. All right, let's go. Let's see what this is all about. I bid you an efficient cycle, Inquisitor. I am Tybalt Vertax, Fabricator General of the Forge World Thule. I would like to greet you on behalf of the Holy Ordos. This conversation is rather unexpected. I have been monitoring your actions since you reactivated the Reactorum. Accept my condolences on the loss of your retinue. I find the compassion surprising for a tech priest of your status. I take this remark as a compliment. Diplomacy is one of my high-priority mundane functions. 
But enough with the pleasantries, Inquisitor. We must talk about Uther Tiberius and his work. This is highly classified information. I am aware of that. If you could visit me on Station Zeta-11, I have important information for you. Alright, sounds interesting, right? Opa. Ooh, we got one of that. <laughs> very good, right? Very good. Alright, let's go, let's go, boys. It also feels like we are less human, though, right? You know, at the same time, even though that we are, well, a cyborg in a certain way. But it kind of feels like it, you know. Kind of feels like it, not completely. My investigations into the tech relics of Uther Tiberius led me to a desolate research sanctum of the fallen uh, Senorate of a Senorite sect. We are working on a mysterious prototype for the excommunicated Inquisitor. This prototype was transported by Tiberius a very long time ago, which first seemed to be a dead end, until I was contacted by the Fabricator General of Fort Walt Fool, who claims to have classified information and provided me with current location of Uther's lost monastery. Cool. Well, first let's go over here again. We want to go down, down, down over there too. Hmm. This is also very nice. We want to have some extra bonuses here and there. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. This is Catapron unlocks the Canticles of the Omnissiah. AoE Shock. That's very nice, though. But by that, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay happy, stay healthy. Don't forget to subscribe, though. Bye bye.